Okay, GIMP 2.10 using the new GEGL drop shadow function. Right, I've started with my uh, thumbnail image that I've created earlier. Uh, but I want to now start with a new image. Which I've created just using a simple background colour. And I think what we'll do as well is we'll bring in a little friend that you might all well be familiar with by now. So this is a GIMP logo on a transparency. And I want to bring this in to this image and put a drop shadow on it using the new GEGL drop shadow function. So in order to do that, the GEGL drop shadow function works on layers so we need to create a new layer so I either create it here I either create it here or I can do it the easy way over here and it, what that needs to be a transparent layer so make sure you set that to transparency and then what we can do is we can bring in our little friend and then we can paste it onto that image and then we've got it floating above there so then all we have to do is to anchor it to the layer below by hitting this one down here anchor to there so what we have now is just two layers we have the background layer which we can switch off and we have the transparency layer with the GIMP logo on it like that each one can be turned on or off but it's this layer we want to work on the one with the logo so what we'll do is we'll click on him then we'll go to the filters light and shadow and we'll hit the drop shadow and the greatest thing about working in GEGL is that you can see your edits straight away so you've got non-destructive editing of your image so now you can play with these presets you can move those around watch the shadow on the image see how that changes see how the, the strength and value of it changes and you can also unlock the chain here and move those individually so you can shift things around a bit you can also adjust the opacity of it so you can make it much more dark you can change the color of it you can even change it into a ridiculous color like red and once you've got to a set of values that you like for instance um, I like something closer to that and maybe take the opacity down a little bit to about there so once you've got to one that you like you can actually save that so you can now hit this plus sign and then you can give it a name so so now I can change the settings to anything that I've preset so for instance I've got test one I've got Pete one and I've got lazy cut one which all different presets that I've created you create the ones that suit you and there you go so that is basically how it works boys and girls right so we've imported the GIMP logo onto a background we've given it a drop shadow and the image is just how I want it to look and now I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit so I go edit copy visible edit paste as a new image or control shift and V and then it takes the original and creates it as a new image right there so just as a reminder I'm just going to create a new image and the old way, for instance, I would go in, I would create some text. 
So just test some text. And then I would select that text by going alpha to selection. So I've got the crawling ants around it. And then I would go to filters. And then I would go to light and shadow. And I would drop shadow. But as you can see, there's no way I can see the effects of that. How that will look until I've actually hit OK. So it's a destructive edit. Whereas this way, with the GEGL way, it's non-destructive. You can actually see it as you're creating it. So uh, I hope you find that useful. And I hope you can now incorporate uh, the new GEGL drop shadow into your images. Thanks for watching. <laughs>